seconds. And there we go for the second time running. Uh, he has lifted the trophy here in Yas Marina. It was such a hit yesterday that we've uh, got the band back together with these two. Uh, George Russell, Lando Norris, a welcome to the stage. We've stood up to make room for you. Um, <laughs> let's start with you, Lando. Well done today. How was, uh, how was that? Um, how was it? It was, it was a good day for us. Uh, as good as our days get, to be honest. But P6, um, fastest lap as well, which must mean I was the quickest driver out there today. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm happy. I think uh, we've ended the season on the high. I gave the team a good amount of energy to go into the off-season, but we were close. We tried Daniel in P9 as well. Um, we just didn't quite have the magical race that we needed to, to get out of Alpine in the championship, but uh, we finished where we deserved to finish. Gave, gave George a little bit of a race in the first corner, wasn't it? Um, I did. He was behind me for a few laps. Yeah, he said he was going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, not even a whole pit stop ahead of me either, you know, so we were... You know, I wanted to pit. But they, they were, I was, I was going to come out behind you, and I didn't want. Me, I was worried you're going to defend. Uh, I don't want I to be <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean we're close. It's been probably our, one of our best weekends in terms of actual pace to the to the leaders. Um, so there's, there's positives. I think the whole season has just been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, sadly, not enough ups. Um, you're the best of the rest outside the, the top yeah, three teams. I hate that saying, to be well, honest. Well, mate, well, I, mean, I, I, I don't it's know It's all I've heard this season. Seven, 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 seven. Seven. Okay. Just do better, it's easy. <laughs> is, that, is that experience talking? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, it has been up and down. Why, why do you think that's been this year? Um, it's just our car. It's our characteristics of this, the, the car. Um, uh, it's like things we, we struggled with today when the car, when I have enough front, like for me it's front, all I need is front in my car. Uh, I don't need rear tires, but um, when I have front we can be quick, you know, we can perform well like yesterday. Uh, today when I put on a set of new tires we're very quick, but we just kill the tires within five, six laps and as soon as we destroy the front tires we're, we're seconds off, we're half a second, we're one second off, so um, it's just the characteristic, what the car relies on too much. Um, but we know all of this. We, we've known it. It's, it's been something we've had for years, sadly. Um, and it's our job to get rid of that for next season. OK, George, let's, let's move it on to you. Obviously, the first mechanical retirement of the year for, for Mercedes with, with Lewis. So I should imagine with everything that's happened here in the past, he'll be on the first plane out of Abu Dhabi. But, but George, tell us about the season as a whole from Mercedes, Mercedes perspective. We've just had Toto coming on, uh, sending a, a message down the barrel to everybody at Brackley and Bricksworth. But do you genuinely believe that, that next year there's going to be more race wins for the team? Yeah, well, firstly, congrats to this guy. I think uh, he's done a pretty excellent job this season considering the car and uh, knowing probably been, the car's been a step behind Alpine and finished ahead of both drivers. So uh, thanks, George. Well done, mate. Uh, uh, at least you won a race, mate. Congrats <laughs> on that, too. <laughs> I'm beating Lewis. Fair play, mate. Um, Do you want a yeah. room? Uh, sorry? Come up when we leave you to it. <laughs> <laughs> got one already. Yeah, mate, we've got respect for one another, you know. We've got Just respect talk for one another. Talk amongst yourselves, that's it's, what. Uh, yeah, fourth year. It's my first year beating Lando in F1, so... Uh, yeah, no, I think for us as a team, this weekend was important because we obviously had such a high in Brazil, a high in Mexico, um, but it's clear that our car only performs in a really narrow window, and this was probably a little bit of a reality check yeah. for, for all of us that there's a lot of... Here comes the main man. Are you joining us? Yeah, come on. No, let's get them all the merits. We said we're trying to break a yeah, world record. I might be that type of guy. <laughs> I've got uh, <laughs> a nice hang on, wait, wait. guy that joins people on the stage. Oh, look, he's even way. brought his oh, band. Wow. Well done. That's <laughs> got is, a round of applause. Where's your Seb? You need more hair, though. <laughs> is that Seb? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's it. Yeah, it's Sky Germany. He's given it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Seb, how's the day been? You know, as that a... type of guy that can wear it. You know? no, I can't wear it. Are you going to rock it? That's the thing, no? The whole, that type of guy. He's the George George. Yeah. On his wrists, George his Russell. ankles. His yeah, head. I like it. I like it. George, you said apparently you've got to go. I don't know Do if you have to go. Do you have to go? Does he have to go? Okay, he's got to go. Okay, when do you we'll... leave? Uh, tomorrow. After the party. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see tonight, guys. He's going to be the DJ. Where are you DJing? Where are you DJing? <laughs> Where DJ are Norris in the house. <laughs> all right, I heard, that. I heard he did all right. Cheers, right. guys. Cheers. Thank you. Seb, it's a great pleasure to have you up here. Hi, I didn't say hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, it's, been a, it's been a great pleasure to watch you over the years. And we, I know you, you've probably had a thousand goodbyes over this weekend and actually probably the second half of the season since you announced your, your retirement. But now, as you finish up, what are your immediate sentiments and what are you looking forward to most from the next chapter? <laughs> uh, well, it's been a big weekend. Um, it's been very busy. It's been a very special type of energy the whole weekend through. Um, 
to be honest, I look forward to a drink <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, uh, just to get back to the team and just say thanks for, for you know, still an amazing two years, obviously, sporting-wise. Uh, not much to mention, but, uh, you know, nice, very nice group of people and uh, very grateful that, um, you know, I found another home after so many years at Ferrari. So um, that's the first couple of thoughts. But, uh, yeah, I want to get out of this wet clothes. <laughs> so uh, it might be very simple things, but also big thoughts. Um, you know, I've got all, all the family here, a lot of friends here. So I um, look forward to just uh, give them a hug and, yeah, be with them. So I, I've, I've, we both retired, so we know what it's like. Um, but the feeling I had was I wanted to kind of get away from Damon Hill, the racing driver. It, do you think of yourself as two, are there two personalities? Is there Seb, the other person? Yeah, and yeah I, th I, think, I think so. I mean, obviously, uh, everything at its time you know obviously lando is here and he's probably like what are these he's thinking what are they saying? talking about will <laughs> <You know? laughs> be me one day yeah oh man um, but uh yeah i always felt that you know there's obviously the racing side which is a huge side of who i am but then there is so much more and i i always you know when i was back home i'm yeah, I felt that there's so many other things and I think especially the last couple of years I, I really understood the privilege that I that I have, you know, the life that I was able to live through all these years, um, doing what I, what I am doing, was doing, um, having the opportunity to reach out to so many people, having a voice um, and trying to use that more and more. Um, but certainly, yes, I look forward to lots of other things which might be very different to racing have nothing to do with racing and especially once it goes quiet to see what it does to me i think that's maybe you something you are ahead <laughs> but uh, just to see where that where that pushes me because i see it's a big challenge and something to rediscover about myself lando just tell us what seb has done for for, for young drivers and for you know i mean it, there's not many people that could get all 20 of you together for for a dinner the other night i know lewis played in it apparently you played and it wasn't lewis as you were telling us yesterday but uh no no what, what has he done for for young drivers in this sport um pressure's on yeah uh i think the the, the probably one of the most important things is, is nowadays um it's not so much about what you do on track, it's, it's the off track stuff. And, uh, and that is just as important now in, in many ways. Um, the influence we can have on youngsters, on, on the new audience that we have in Formula One. Um, I may be a bit more shy than what, what Seb is uh, and has been in, in Formula One, but I'll learn. And it's, it's about um, speaking the truth, speaking about you know, honesty and uh, your opinions, standing for your opinions. Um, and not just about racing things, but also you know, a lot of the stuff that Seb has done. Um, I guess some people are criticized because Formula One is about racing in the end of the day, but at the same time, um, I think I'm lucky to have been able to race against Deb the last few years, uh, four-time world champion, um, one of the best drivers in Formula One uh, ever, so things like that that I feel honored to be part of, um, uh, but also the off-track stuff, a lot that I've learned from, Sub, uh, from Seb, um, I just need to learn to voice uh, and, and just learn what voice I have, I guess, more importantly, where, the things I can speak out on. And I guess mental health has been one that I've, I've done a lot of, um, but I can always do more. And there's plenty of other things for me to speak about, but that will come with time. So I thank Seb for all of that. <laughs> I was just going to say that was the, one of the things that you pointed out, Seb, is that you, you do have voices as racing drivers. And I'm sure that that's something that you'll want to be as much a part of your legacy as your, your racing legacy. Well, I mean, it's other people who get to decide what a legacy is. But um, I don't think I mean, it's, you can try to actively have an influence on that. But I'm not sure it's really the way it should be. I think you should just be yourself. And there was one Jensen. There is one Lando. There was one version of me. Uh, one Damon um, and uh, as much as you know you have role models and you try to learn things here and there you still have to find your own way you have to find what works for you and stand up for the things that are important to you I mean it don't have to be the same for all of us that would be a shame because we're all different and I think it's celebrating that diversity in many ways and uh, learning to speak up for for it because you know in the end of the day it is a massive joy to drive these cars to live that life, um, to have people working so hard for you day in, day out, to make your car, your day, your race a little bit, just a little bit better. Um, but, you know, 
with that, I think, comes also a little bit of responsibility that you might not be aware of when you're young, and that's good. But uh, you are able to, to grow with uh, experience, with time, and um, yeah, try and give a little bit, uh, little bit back. And uh, it means the world to people to stand up for, for some of the things that are important to you and express your, your opinion. Seb, thanks for everything. On behalf of everyone, really Thank appreciate you. everything thanks. you've done for the sport. Thank, Thank you. You can say thanks, thanks enough. Thanks, 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 thanks. Well done thanks. today. And we'll hopefully we'll see them again very shortly in the future.